Okay, so I just wanted to make a quick observation here. So this hair right here, I hadn't washed my hair for almost three weeks, right? And I had been putting gel in my hair. And this was the amount of hair that I lost when it came time for wash day. And of course, you can see some of the residue um, or debris, would you say, from the gel mixed in with my hair. So that's the brown that you're seeing there. So now this, I just combed out my hair. I have had my hair in, um, you know, with gel, styling my hair with gel for the past week and a little bit. And this is the amount of hair I have lost when combed out. So this is about three weeks worth of hair that was lost. That's a lot of hair. That is crazy. And this is like a week and a half. Now, what made the difference of course the time frame this is almost three weeks and this is a week and a half but still it's a lot less right um in half the time nonetheless this here right here is the amount of hair i lost when i just kept my hair in a protective style and did not add any gel to my hair at all so i just kept my hair in a protective style all week and this was when it was time for me to wash my hair one week later okay so no gels in my hair and i was just um keeping my hair in a protective style and this was for a week so after washing my hair at this point um the week the following week i washed my hair again kept my hair in a protective style and this is the amount of hair i lost then when it came time to do my moisturizing routine in the week after washing my hair. Hair, this is the amount of hair I lost after three days after washing my hair, right? So, my hair was still in a protective style, no gel that week at all, and this is the amount of hair I lost, keeping my hair in a protective style, keeping my hair in a protective style without any gel. This is about three weeks, roughly almost three weeks, um, with my hair in gel now. After only losing this amount of hair after one week, and this just after a couple of days, this is how much I have lost in a week and a half, right? Or just a bit, or just a bit over a week. So, and I have been wearing my hair with gel. So it's clear to show or see that when I use gel in my hair, I lose a lot of hair. And as you can see, some of the gel residue the buildup. So when I wear gel, use gel, I lose a lot of hair when it's time to prepare my hair for wash day. This is keeping my hair moisturized and in a protective style with no gel. No gel, protective style. And this was a three week, almost three week period of not washing my hair and using gel. So when I'm doing my moisturizing routine using the Hair We Grow products, so of course this is the moisturizing hair and body butter, you can see that the breakage in my hair is greatly reduced. Now this could be breakage as well as natural hair shedding, but in comparison to when my hair is just being used um sorry when i'm just using you know gels other products without continuously you know keeping my hair moisturized i find that i lose a lot more hair in comparison to using the hair and body butter as well as the hair oil to stimulate my hair follicles so this is the amount of hair that is being lost not much so having a proper routine will help to limit breakage and hair loss um, in comparison to when you're not using these products and just using harsh products like gels that will harden your hair and make your hair break. Because remember, our hair is very curly and it can easily snap when it gets intertwined and tangled with each other. But once we keep our hair strands moisturized or lubricated, you can see the difference in the amount of hair loss that takes place. 
So this is the amount of hair loss when it came time to do my moisturizing routine. After just keeping my hair moisturized, washed and cleaned and in a protective style with these products in comparison to when I have neglected my hair and haven't been keeping it hydrated and moisturized and nourished. This is the amount of hair I lost in comparison to when I'm actually keeping my hair hydrated and moisturized, hydrated and moisturized, not hydrated or moisturized. So once you understand how your hair function, it's best to create a routine that, you know, suits your hair needs because we don't want to be dealing with breakage. This is going to hinder length retention. So once you learn how your hair is, and of course, you know, our hair is so fragile, especially with all the coils and the curls, etc., and then having to put on um, products that will cause our hair to be really hardened, then when it's time to comb it out, we are breaking our hair, our hair is snapping, etc. Because look at the difference between just protective styles and no gel, you don't see any buildup in these um, hair. You don't see any. But then in this one, you see the buildup and you see the amount of hair that is being um, breaking. See? So we have to understand how our hair work so that we can care for our hair properly. So the moral of the story is, well, for me anyway, I need not use gel in my hair often, or if I use gel, I need to wash my hair out immediately or comb my hair out immediately, like after the, um, the event I've gone to or the reason why I styled my hair and keep my hair in a protective style and moisturized because otherwise I am losing a lot of hair. This is breakage, etc.